Hey guys, Pedro1979 here. I'm gonna do a quick test. I couldn't wait, so I decided to make myself a little coffee. So uh, I, I'm gonna test the little Dolphin Purple uh, K Cup Keurig 2.0 compatible, or so it's supposed to be. A uh, little uh, coffee filter. So I'm gonna do a quick test right now. I got some ground coffee. I pre-washed that. I uh, preheated my Keurig, so it should go fast. So let me get a little bit of ground coffee in here. Wonder up to which point I can I can fill it up. We'll see. Let's get a little coffee in there. So it's ground pretty coarse. So hopefully it'll work good. So let's fill it up to let's say here. Up to the dolphin's head. So this should be pretty good. I'm gonna make a small coffee anyways. So I'm gonna close that back up here. So I don't lose my freshness. Uh, da, da, da. Lock and lock. There we go. So let me show you guys how much coffee I put in there. So hopefully you guys can see that. So hopefully it'll work great. So now time to open up the Keurig and see if we don't get an error message. So basically it says that little arrow. So I'm supposed to think put that like that. Now I close that here. And yes, I can make myself a coffee. Nice. Let's go with strong one and let's go with a six ounce. I don't want to make it too big, so let's do it strong. So I place my cup here. As you guys can see, you guys can see the screen there. Let me get you guys a little close up of the screen. So you can select uh, the strength, click. You can select your beverage size up to 10 ounce, 4 ounce. Six ounce. Let's make an eight ounce coffee, just to, for the hell of it. I'm gonna make it strong. So let me back up here, reset the camera, click so you guys can see that. So let's get ready. So it works. A little purple dolphin. So compatible with Curry 2.0. So let me show you guys that here. A little purple coffee filter, Curry 2.0. Got that on Amazon. I think I paid fourteen dollars for two, so I could probably give one to somebody or keep one as a spare. Hmm, seems to be working pretty good. Don't know if the coffee is going to be super strong, but it's got a good coffee orders. So I about know about how much eight ounces is. I think I could put a little bit more coffee in there. Not sure though how much I can fill it. There's no instruction manual that came with that, so basically doing an eight ounce. It's pretty much borderline. I think I should have done a six maybe. Doesn't look to be a lot. Uh, the coffee doesn't seem to be super dark, but hopefully it'll work great. So it's about done. It's doing a weird noise, which it doesn't usually make. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So that's that. So now it's gonna reheat the water. Get ready for the next one. So I'm just gonna wait a little so it drips out. It keeps on dripping. So more water, please. Nah, I can close that. Let's close that thing here. Click. All right, so now let's see. Is it good or am I gonna have to something in the way here? So, yep, the coffee looks pretty good. Let me try to pan there and there. So coffee looks good. Let's do a taste test after that and see how it does. So, but that little purple dolphin works. So uh, hopefully I can make some coffee and it's gonna be cheap. Yeah, curry curry keeps dripping after you uh, even after you take out the cup. Sometimes it just keeps dripping. So. Let's take that out of here, click, and let's put that there so it can drip on something. So I'm going to clean that out and see how it works. So, all right, inside it looks pretty good, as usually does, a little bit of condensation there. So, uh, one thing I noticed with my K200 is that there is a little bit of condensation in the tank. I don't know if that's normal or not, but you know, we'll see if it creates some odors or stuff like that. Hopefully it won't matter too much, so 
Uh, let me zoom back in on that little product that I just got. Click, and let me get it in there. So that little dolphin purple uh, compatible with Kirk 2.0 on Amazon.ca. So it works. So it works pretty good too. So hopefully uh, you guys can see that. Let me zoom back out because now the focus is out of out of order. So it seems to be working out pretty good. So uh, you know, hopefully I can get some years of enjoyment out of this and make myself some coffee that's going to cost me a little less money. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick uh, demonstration video. This kind of first look on that uh, little item that I got from my Keurig uh, K200 in the red edition, as you guys can see. So hope you guys enjoy and see you guys on the next one.